Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. Today we're going to talk about crank sets for bike touring. Specifically, we're going to talk about the Mountain Double, which I feel is the perfect crank set for bike touring, which have been seemingly forgotten with all the rage with one by crank sets. So let's take a closer look. So again, welcome back if you're a subscriber to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, if you're interested in things like bike touring, gravel riding, trail riding, and fly fishing, then consider subscribing. So we just got back from our month long trip in California where we rode and filmed a bunch of epic climbs out there. We climbed up to the iconic Mueller Tunnel, uh, taking the Mount Low Fire Road, which is spectacular and absolutely leg busting. And we did all these rides on our bias. And what's unique about our Vias is that we didn't use the gearing that usually comes with the bike, but we installed Mountain Double. So Mountain Doubles, as the name implies, are is a double crank set that's typically used on mountain bikes. But I feel they have, they've got tons of applications uh, in terms of bike touring, in terms of gravel riding, bike packing, any kind of off-road bike adventure where you really need low gears on your bike. So now I'm gonna throw out a bunch of numbers and uh, talk about the different gearing options that are out there for this kind of adventure bike class and why I feel the Mountain Double uh, is a crank set that maybe you guys should consider. So on our bikes, uh, we use the SRAM Mountain Doubles, the X9 and X7 versions, and they come with a crank set of 42 as a large chain ring and 28 as a smaller chain ring. And we pair that with a rear cassette that's got range of 11 to 36. That gives us a high gear inch of 104 and a low gear inch of 21. So I think this is a, a pretty ideal spread for a touring bike or even a, a commuter bike. And with a high gear inch of 104 gear inches, if you're spinning the cranks at uh, a cadence of 90, you'd be going well over 25 miles per hour, which I think for us and most non-competitive cyclists is actually pretty fast. So let's contrast that with what usually bike manufacturers put on what they call touring bikes, and that's the compact road double. In a typical uh, compact road double, the chain rings are 50 on the big ring and 34 on the small ring. As you can see, like the tooth count is considerably larger than on the mountain double. But what makes this worse is that typically the cassette that they put in is usually a 12 to 30 or 11 to 30. So you're not even get getting that low of a low gear on a stock quote unquote touring bikes. Most of the times your low gear is around 30 to 32 gear inches, which is not very low at all if you're doing any kind of fully loaded touring up and over mountains. So let's look at the very in vogue one by system. Typical configuration for one by big chain ring or the, the only chain ring is uh, 42 teeth and they pair that with a 10 to 42 tooth uh, rear cassette. So in terms of range, on the high end you get 114 and on the low end you get a uh, paltry uh, 27, about 27 gear inches on the low end. So what this means basically is you've got really tall gear on the, on the high end side, so you can go really, really fast. But if you're going up any kind of steep grades, uh, loose terrain, or you're carrying a load, that, that low gear inch of about 27 really isn't that low, at least in, in our opinion. I think looking at the numbers, looking at these three options, for us it seems really clear that the better choice if you're going to do any kind of off-road bike touring would be the Mountain Double. I mean, you lose a little bit on the high end. If you're in your hardest gear and you're pedaling at a 90 cadence, you can only go, you know, 27 miles per hour, but you have a considerably lower, lower gear than these other two options. The beauty about the Mountain Double, because they're not so popular, is that you can get them uh, fairly inexpensively. So the ones that we have, uh, you can use with the Apex brifters. It works well with our mountain rear derailers. So you've got the convenience of using road brifters, but the nice low range of a mountain bike. You know, 90% of the time, it's in that 42 tooth uh, large chain ring, quote unquote large chain ring, and uh, you know, can, can cruise on flats and moderate grades. But when it gets really steep, that's when you just drop it down into that second smaller chain ring and park it there and crawl up the hill. So I think that the Mountain Double crank set, uh, you know, unfortunately is called a Mountain Double. So people only assume that you can use it with mountain bikes, but I think its uh, range of applications is far wider than just mountain bikes. You know, they make great cranks for commuting, uh, for touring. You get that simplicity of a double, 
but still a really functional and usable range of gears. So that's it for this video. I hope I did not bore you too much with all the numbers, all the getting cranky about crank sets. Uh, so what crank sets do you guys prefer and use? Leave those in the comments below. Uh, what do you guys think of the Mountain Double? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more bike touring nerdy content like this, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.